Hi, I'm Paul from Production Expert. In this video, I'm going to show you how to mic up a guitar amp. Now, I like using guitar amp simulators as much as the next person, but there really is nothing like miking up a speaker and having that amp in the room and recording. So let's get to it. Okay, let's have a quick look at the different parts of the front of the speaker. As you can see here, the main parts we need to look at are the cone and the dust cap. The further your mic is away from the center of the dust cap, the warmer or duller it will sound. So the further over to the side of the speaker, the duller it will sound. So you can use this like a sort of an EQ. If you want more bite, bring it closer to the middle of the speaker. And I find a good compromise is on the edge of the dust cap. So for this recording, I'm gonna use a condenser mic, which is gonna be slightly off from the dust cap on the speaker. And now I'm gonna bring in a Shure SM7B on the other side of the speaker that's gonna be a little bit closer to the dust cap for a bit more presence. But I'm still making sure the capsule of the SM7 is more or less lined up with the capsule on the condenser so I don't get any phase issues. So the best way to check you have your mic lined up in the right place is obviously by ear. But as I've done this a few times, I know where I want them. If you have a cabinet where the front doesn't come off, you can still check the position of the microphones by shining a bright torch against the grill cloth and then lining up from there. Okay, so I've got the condenser mic just off of the dust cap and I've got the SM7B a little bit closer to the dust cap. So the condenser mic is gonna give us a warmer sound and the SM7B is gonna give us a slightly brighter, harsher sound as it's closer to the center of the speaker. So let's have a quick listen to both. So here's the condenser mic. And here's the SM7B. Okay, but what we're gonna do is to record both of these at the same time. And also I'm gonna switch on some effects as I wanna be monitoring with these effects. So I'm gonna use Valhalla Shimmer for my reverb. And I'm also using Echo Boy Junior from Sound Toys. And with Echo Boy Junior, I'm using a slightly stereo eighth note delay. So you'll hear that here. Okay, let's record the part. So now I can monitor just a condenser mic on its own. And just the SM7B. Switch the effects on the SM7B as well. So as you'll notice on the SM7B, it has a much sharper sound because it's a little bit closer to the dust cap. Right, let's switch up some mics and let's replace the SM7B with an SM57 and see how that sounds. And let's record that part again. So I'm Paul from Production Expert. I hope you got something out of that and I'll see you guys next time.